Hi guys, um, not with you today, but I'm Ann Scott and I'm here to tell you what should be on your poster when you bring it to the fair. So it should be a 28 by 22 poster. Um, you should cover it with plastic and it should be sturdy. So like this, and then it's got a plastic covering. You can get these kits um, for $5 from the Monroe Achievers, or you can talk to Joanne for their contact, contact info. So, and then down here, it will have your card, and it'll say your name, your club, and what the project is. And then you need to have a reference sheet on the back of your poster, so like that. And it's just explaining where you found your information for your poster. So then the next topic is, what topic do I do for my poster? So you want to pick a topic that interests you and that might interest others with the same interest as you. Um, it can be something you know about or something you don't know a lot about, but then you research, or research it and then you figure out a lot more than you already knew before. Um, when you do a poster, you want to learn while you do it. So keep that in mind. And where do you... Like for the reference sheet, you're going to ask, where do I find the information? And you want to browse the web. If you use a website or, or for a picture or any other information, um, use that website, like copy the link and then make a new document and then just print out that document. And then you're going to get a book, a record book and all that stuff. And there's a lot of really good information in those too. So you can always list that. And then what supplies do you need? So you're gonna need a poster board. You're gonna want your pictures. Judges like a lot of pictures on here, so put a lot of pictures on there. It'll Pictures can say words too. Um, you wanna explain your pictures. So like the before and the after and what's needed. Um, you wanna make the font eye pleasing. So like this, you don't wanna have it you don't want to like handwrite it or anything. You want to make it big so that people standing five feet away from you can see it. But you want to keep it plain and simple. So that's really all you have to do for a poster. It's pretty easy. Just know your stuff, research it, cite your sources. So on the bottom of your poster, you have to write your name, your first and last name, and the day you completed the poster in Sharpie or very dark pen. That way the judge can see it. So right here, I would have wrote, this is a poster from a couple years ago. So I would have wrote Aaron Scott, comma, July 10th, 2017. And that's what it would be.